what's up guys welcome to the garage uh, we've got a bit of a monster uh, in the garage today this is the uh, 1 8 scale Land Rover Defender 110 from um, Double E so this has come from Banggood for review there's a link to it in the description below and this is a, um, a full hobby grade or is meant to be a full hobby grade from Double E of the Land Rover Defender. What? Those of you that watch the channel quite often, this is also from Double E, and this is their cheap, um, this is their cheaper toy grade version of this truck. I will do a comparison between the two another time. This video is going to be the unboxing for that, but they do two. Don't get this one confused with this one. This is a couple of hundred dollars. This is about fifty or sixty dollars. Anyway, let's get this out of the box. So, fully licensed body from Land Rover. 1.8 scale, massive, and it's meant to be a complete full hobby grade scale crawler. So we'll have a look at that when we get it out. Now, I'm not familiar with the TRX4, which is meant to be one tenth, but this thing is huge. I thought it was the same size as their toy one, but let me show you. Look at the size difference. Um, and this is meant to be a one eighth as well. This thing's massive. This is the like the TRX4 well clone. This is measured at about one eleventh scale. Look at that for size. <laughs> uh, this is fifteen, so I think this is actually bigger than one eighth scale. Fifteen inch wheelbase. The one ten Land Rover is one hundred ten inches, so. I reckon this is one seventh scale rather than one eighth scale. Anyway, let's leave that to one side for a minute. In the box, you get a set of uh, instructions Land Rover Defender. Uh, it's got all like the trademark copyright stuff on there for the uh, licensed body, wheel wrench, a nut, and cap. That's for your spare on the back. Spare tyre. You get a uh, 3000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery to uh, two cell so or uh, 7.4 volt and then there's your transmitter you got on off you got high low it's for your gears um then you got throttle and steering i guess that's reverse throttle trim steering trim so two speed and there's your transmitter anyway <laughs> This thing is really nice. Let's hope it goes as well as it looks. I guess that's where your battery and stuff go in there. Put your on off switch, that'll be uh, for your battery. Suspension feels nice and soft, nice and scale in there. That is really nice. There's your rear seats and then space in the back. This does look nice. So underneath you've got your axles, you've got metal steering rods, metal um, multi-link suspension, the drive shafts, the outer looks plastic, but there's metal there. It might be metal going through the inside, not sure. The multi-link suspension, there's all your electronics in there. And going up to the rear axle there. So let's take a wheel off and look underneath. I think it's a 12 mil hex under there. Um, I'll be honest with you, I apologize if this video seems a little bit disjointed. I'm a little bit um, lost for words for this thing. I didn't realize it's gonna be so scale looking. It looks awesome. Yep, so we've got a 12 mil hex there. Nice suspension, it looks really nice. Uh, they're meant to be oil filled. I'll probably check them because they feel a little bit loose at the moment, so I'll definitely check all them. It's always worth checking them, but they certainly are going to be oil filled. Got your adjustable collar up there as well. A metal chassis. And then under there, you've got your ball bearings there, so that's all good. Not sealed ones, they're metal cap ones, so it would have been better if they were sealed for water, but make sure you put a bit of grease or oil on them, they'll be all right. And then up the back in here, you've got your five, it's a 550 motor by the looks of it up the back there. You've got a um, slipper clutch and then that'll be your gearbox in there um, that drives it all along. 
engine wheels they look like they're um they look like bead locks actually you've got like the bolts through the middle there go through to the back so bead lock wheels and the tires feel nice soft compound as well right we get the battery charge we'll switch it on and we'll have a look at it and see the controls and stuff like that now i'm not going to pull this apart and show you every single bit under here you've got your gearbox and stuff but what i will do is link in the description below steve from um, rc tanks and trucks 24 7 done a really good video on this really long video stripped it completely down even took all the gearbox apart um so if you want to if you want to see more about this I'm going to link his video in the description so you can have a good look at that. We'll get the battery in, we'll give it a test, and then I'll do a run video for you, um, hopefully in the next few days. So the battery does sit up front. It's a bit weird getting in there. I don't, that, that strap doesn't fit properly. It's too small. That one seems a bit long, but it's probably an easy fix. So battery sits up in front. So you're steering. Feels a relatively strong servo. Doesn't say what strength it is, but it says uh, it seems all right. And then we're in low gear apparently at the moment. And then switch to high. And then you've got a uh, throttle jewel right there as well. So put it all the way down. We're in high at the moment. So as well as high and low, you can also uh, reduce your throttle using your throttle jewel rate. Anyway, there it is the, well, it's not really a one eighth scale. It's more one seventh scale. Uh, Land Rover Defender from Double E. I'm really looking forward to taking this out. It really needs to go somewhere. It's going to be tested properly. Uh, I have to have a look around here and see where there is. Anyway, I'm going to get some a little bit of oil in these shocks. Although saying that, they're, they're all right. They just may be a bit a bit bouncy at the moment. I'm going to get some oil in them, adjust them up, and I'm going to take this out. And I'll get a video up for you as soon as I can. Link in the description for this is a link, like I've said, for RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 for his complete in-depth review, which will show you every single bit you need to know on here. Uh, cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time.